Hello, and uh, welcome to The Long View, um, with me, John Jordan. So we're back with Everdale, um, which is Supercell's new uh, game that's currently what they're calling in beta. Um, and um, let's just see what's going on. So you can see here is my village. So um, this is still fairly early stages in the game. Um, I've got three houses. You can see they're different colored roofs. It's quite nice. Then that means I've got three villages. Every every villager has to it was basically created when you build a house, and then you set your villagers to do various tasks. So the sort of basic loop we've got going on here is that villagers need soup. Um, so one thing you do is you you farm pumpkins, and the pumpkins get thrown into the soup bowl, and then if the villagers get hungry, they can uh, they can kind of eat soup. And you can probably a bit difficult to see actually at the top of the screen. Uh, you can see here one of the one of the um, uh, resources is is soup. Actually, I'm pretty maxed out at the top of my resources. So there's soup on the far, um, well, there's gold on the far right, then there's soup, then there's wood, and then there's clay. So, that's, so those are some of the resources we have. Um, it's a very sort of time-based game, um, in the sense that you sort of set your villagers to do things, uh, and, and then they sort of uh, obviously spend that time doing them. And you, every time you log into the game, um, hopefully there's sort of things for you to do. And there's a little sort of help thing at the bottom there telling you, a new building is ready, construction requires a villager, upgrade requires a villager. So it's sort of telling you, you know, you know sort of a, a menu of what to do. So we can see here, something's um, in, a, in a big present, so it looks like um, there's a building to be... Um, oh, I've leveled that one up, okay. So I leveled up my clay um, storage, um, and I've got some books, um, which I use to advance my library research. So I've got 10 books, I've got 18 now. They're actually called, um, some of I think are sort of called, uh, called scrolls. Um, and now they also sort of say knowledge points. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what quite what they call them there. I've got some gems as well. Gems are something. I've got 25 gems now. I've no idea what you use gems for. I think I'm still in the so far into the tutorial. So um, uh, I'm not far enough through the, the tutorial to get to what I use gems for. Um, right. So um, Francis Library is telling me one more study upgrade to go. Okay. Um, and Carolina's excited as well. So um, maybe a bit more research sounds like we should be doing. So we go to the sort of library here. It looks like I can level that one up. Level up my village with research projects at the study um, to unlock helpful innovations. So um, that's going to get me more XP for my village. Um, so I'm going to need actually need 12 um, clays by the looks of things and some gold coins. I've got that, um, um, but I'm going to run out of clay but anyway. Um, let's go off and choose a villager. So we can see villagers. I've got three villagers. Some of them are sort of they're not actually doing things because they're they're um blocked that the, yeah, those things aren't happening but Carolina looks very keen so just, I'll set her off so we can see here one's doing one's doing something one's stuck and one's um, in red a bit grumpy looks like I actually hire another one so anyway so she's she's off doing that research um, I can actually let's think can I do this no um, okay so let's just let that go on right so what else have I got going on here ah so I need I need some more clay we can see I've got 10 clay of 20 so Oh, but it looks like, um, right, so so here I have a clay mine, so clay pit even, so here I get unlimited amounts of clay. So let's go and set, um, Roseanne doesn't need to do, um, well, she doesn't really need to do pine, um, pumpkins anymore because I've got nine of those. So let's set her off and she can go and do that because we're going to need more clay to do that upgrade. And then we've got the other guy here, what is it, Santiago, um, can't build, can't harvest any more wood because I'm 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 uh, maxed out my wood so we should probably go and give him something else to do what else have I got to do um oh, the select the figurine workshop that's under construction and so uh, okay where's that then the figurine workshop so that looks like the figurine workshop yes okay so I need 10 wood and some clay and I need someone to be doing that so let's go off and send Santiago off to do that right they're all happy three of them there but it did look like there I could hire another worker so Okay, so this is the first time I've seen the shop. This is kind of interesting. So with this hard, this hard currency, the gems, the, the blue sort of circular thing here, I can I can buy some nectar to boost. I can show you that in a minute. Buy some scrolls, which which uh, speed basically um, speed up, give me immediate um, research, and get some coins, gold coins. So okay, so I'm starting to see now there are these sort of three currencies that I'm sort of earning as I go along, but the as we'd expect with a hard currency. That, that will basically allow me to get more of those rather than just play the game. Um, I can hire a worker, Franz the Fixer, active for two days. Okay, 
So this is interesting. This is not a permanent boost, but I basically get um, he's a. Uh, I get him for two days, and he's he's got fifty percent skills plus fifty percent skills. So he's be, he he sort of zoom through things. So he's sort of like a um, a a a a good boost for two days. <laughs> but 200, 200 gems is quite expensive. Potions. Now I'm not going into potions yet. This is this is um, a part of the game. I've sort of unlocked the ability to make potions, but I haven't got into them yet. So we looks like um, these are gonna probably make them more efficient. I think. Or, so um, there's different things. Woodcutters mixture is probably going to make us the woodcutting quicker, I would think, or more efficient. If that's quite the same thing, I don't know. And then it looks like we've got some aesthetic things here. Quite why I would care less about having a scarecrow costume, I don't know, but maybe that's something some people will like. And I can buy again. Looks like sort of aesthetic things. I don't know why I buy roads or a garden swing. Uh, I could buy a pet. Probably that would be popular. Four hundred. Now, gems, this is the important bit. Oh, and it's sort of stopped. It's not really, it doesn't seem to be very, uh, okay. So gems. Um, so we can see here, interestingly, there's not the option to buy, oh, this is in pounds, that's why. So I'm in the UK app store. So the most expensive, the most expensive one is 45 pounds. So, but even so that's not near a hundred dollars, is it? Um, and I get 7,000, so that's quite a lot. So that's, that's what, how we're monetizing. Uh, and we're monetizing to buy these gems and these gems are letting us buy um, aesthetic items and letting us be more efficient in the game. Um, or I can buy um, a starter pack straight away. Um, not really quite sure what I'm getting there. Getting some gems. The starter packs are generally always worth buying because because they the developer always makes it really... Um, they always give you a lot more. <laughs> In 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 game items than than you spend in real money because they're encouraging you to do your first in app purchase. So I won't do that now, but it's always worth doing that. I'm clearly super so I know that. So hire another worker. Okay, so that one is encouraging me to buy um, is old, buy old Franz the fixer. So I can't obviously for him. I wouldn't. Um, he wouldn't have a house. He he just sort of turn up and, and do useful things. Okay. So right. So we get an idea what's going on here. Um, we can see uh, we've sort of mentioned it before. Here's the nectar. So nectar is this. Um, material that speeds things up so we can see here i've got 11 nectar and if i want to speed things up i'm gonna um I, uh, so yeah so i press on press on there and we can see here i've got 10 minutes of, of boost so if we go to see the little characters now uh, a bit difficult to see actually um all right and then i hit boost and now we can see they're all they're all going around super fast so obviously this is just a you know a speed up sort of thing and the figuring workshop's now done um okay so I've got two working, one not working, and now you just saw a pop up there. It said Otto's, um, Otto's back. So Otto is the trader, and you have to do, you do things um, basically to earn gold, soft currency, and also um, if you when I fulfil all these orders, um, I also get a sort of bonus as well. So let's see what I've got going on here. So I have sixteen raspberries, so I can do that one straight away. I don't have to go and collect anything, so that's good. That one will have gone. So what else have I got here? Wood. I have 10 wood, but I might need those woods. What have I got here? Mushrooms. Yeah, I can do that one straight away. Um, uh, okay, so obviously this is sort of a way of, you know, being a, um, forcing you to prioritise resources. Uh, so I, have not, I haven't got enough clay, so I'm going to have to collect some clay. Eggs, I've got loads of eggs, so you can have those. Uh, oh, I hit the wrong button there. Um, okay, what else? Um... A figurine. Ah, so I haven't made a figurine yet, so that's a few things I want to do. So figurine is is one. Um, clay. So you need probably I have someone doing clay. Um, maybe let's do a figurine then. So let's let's tap a villager to assign. So let's set let Santiago to do um, a figurine. We can see here, and it's telling me there's enough soup for four minutes and whatever seconds. So you can kind of see my soup. Ah, so yeah. so with all these sort of games, you know, um, these sort of you know, the main resource is you never have enough villagers. So we can see here um, that I'm going to run out of soup. I've only got two of those left. So um, I'm also going to run out of clay. But let's let's um, uh, let's have Roseanne doing some soup instead. So we're not going to have we're going to run out of clay, but we're going to have some soup. I've um, got some eggs on here. So, so we can kind of see what's going on here. The, the basic loops are sort of sort of okay. Um, uh, but, okay, um, the main thing that is um, kind of a, a, the headlines around uh, the game is that 
is that when you get, this is obviously sort of the single player loops they're trying to teach you. And hopefully I've sort of learned them okay. I hopefully I've sort of explained them. There's these various resources um, and you're sort of, um, uh, you know, going through them to, to the, you know, you need to um, accumulate certain resources to, to build the next building, to get to the next level. You know, that, that's pretty straightforward. Um, but once you get to a certain level, you can start to build these these bigger social groupings. So instead of guilds, they have these um, things called, um, you have basically 10 accounts sort of come together to create, it's more like a meta village. And, and that's how the, the kind of guild system, alliance system works. Um, which is sort of interesting, um, and particularly because this game doesn't have combat. Um, you know, combat provides a real strong um, sort of excitement level. It's really good for monetization and retention. Obviously, when you have big guilds, you're doing big battles and stuff, and, and that provides a lot of social glue, which then feeds through to retention, monetization, all that sort of stuff that mobile games, free-to-play mobile games need. The thing that strikes me, having played uh, Everdale for um, a bit, is... That it what one one thing is it's slow. So it is a pretty slow game. Um even if you're sort of hitting boost and boosting these sort of guys, it's you know, you're sort of waiting around to do stuff. There's not really you're waiting around to do stuff, then it happens, then you're just waiting around to do more stuff. You know, there's not really anything that takes you out of this loop. Partly because I'm not into the, the you know, the next social bit. But um, you know, in something like Clash of Clans, you'd be building your you building your base, um, and then you'd be going off to destroy someone else's base and, and, and basically, but basically you, to do that is kind of fun but also you're getting more resources to do that so that sort of takes you away from the base building thing this game at the moment is purely base building now obviously this is because it's early i'm very early in the game and obviously these games are designed for people to play them for years um so so there is a sort of pacing issue here um but this is this to me is pretty slow and i think that's partly the problem of being a peaceful game is you just have to go slower you have to sort of get people over the sort of hump and then it is much harder to fill out. To, I imagine it'd be much harder for people to build a good sort of guild or whatever they're going to call it with 10 people uh, where you're just building things in a really cool way compared to just going around and bashing other people, which is just fun. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just kind of, you know, it is just is more fun. Uh, what have I done here? Run out of something, run out of um, clay. All right, let's go and send um, Caroline to go and get some clay. Um, so, so this is, you know, this is kind of fun. I can, I can sort of come back in. Um, I, I can kind of, you know, normally I would switch this off and then come back in whatever, you know, whenever I'm coming back to the, the tablet and just kind of like fiddle around and do some more. So it's got that kind of nice appointment sort of style to it, but it's not really exciting. There's no excitement. There's no change to the pace. It's sort of like, I come in, I do that. I go away, I come in, I do that. You know, I'd say that's early, so I can't really tell. And I'm not going to sort of, um, going to, you know, kind of say that this game isn't going to work for that reason but it does strike me um as as a sort of quite a quite an unexciting experience to begin with because you know if it was a match free game we'd be doing all the cool explosions and we'd be like clearing levels and there'd be fireworks and you know lots of mobile games now have this very exciting sort of sort of first experience the first hour is almost like the best bit of the game because you're just getting you know it's like so much going on and, and the game's like desperate for you to stay and um and this game is sort of like, well, yeah, you're going to do some of this and then you do a bit more of that. And then, you know, it's just sort of the same same sort of pacing. It's the same, you know, I de and I definitely think if this wasn't a Supercell game, um, this would sort of struggle. So so um, obviously it is a Supercell game. So so, so that sort of argument is slightly irrelevant. Uh, but if it's, but it, it doesn't sort of immediately jump out at me as this is a Supercell game in terms of um, lots of the aspects of it. I mean, it looks nice and everything. You can tell it's sort of Supercell from some of the artwork stuff. I am still confused. I'm playing this on an iPad Pro, so maybe that's some of the issue. The UI and stuff is really, really odd, really small. You know, it's just, it's just, you know, I can zoom in and everything for the buildings, but the UI is just, is just, to me, just seems, you know, I don't remember getting old and, and need better glasses or something, but it just seems really, really um, uh, sort of finicky and kind of weird things like this where I can toggle the time estimates. I mean, that's just really. Why would that be as something, you know, clearly the game is not going to launch with the ability to do that. Obviously, they want to know whether people have it off or on. So some of this stuff is sort of, is sort of their sort of A-B testing, I imagine, with, to see whether people actually use this stuff. I don't even know what this button here does. Oh, it's the shop now. Um, so uh, I, I guess, you know, we shouldn't be silly about it. This is, this is you know, Supercell made billions of dollars through, through making hyper-competitive competitive games where people basically want to destroy each other's stuff. Um, so, so it's always going to be a change of pace when you come up with something that isn't about destroying people's stuff, and it's much harder to build those sort of games. 
Um, and Supercell hasn't done it now for for getting on for a decade when 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 uh, when um, Heyday came out, which was a much sort of farming building game, but without the social aspect. So the social aspects here are key. That's very hard to onboard people to. So I'm kind of understanding that they're sort of taking their time on that. Uh, but equally, I do think that they. I do think when this game does go live, this sort of tutorial bit that I still see myself as being in is going to be, it's going to have to be changed. It's going to have to be, you know, um, kind of a, a better framework around that, whether that's story and narrative, um, whether that's just kind of excitement about, you know, oh, you've unlocked this super cool thing or, you know, at the moment it's, it, it's just, you know, for me, this is a big game that was sort of more, more, more be like a soft launch game. Again, it's just gone into soft launch than a game that's been, that's now in beta because actually we thought we found out that this game has been in soft launch for six months under a different name and not obviously they didn't put it out through Supercell. Um, they put it out through like a made up company so no one noticed it so they could get sort of good good data without ever knowing it's a Supercell game. Um, so so that's sort of my thoughts on on kind of the first few days of playing of playing it. Um, definitely promise. Um, not quite what probably any of us expected. Not really what I expected. And and um, and I think you know uh, I will be looking for quite sort of considerable. Um, kind of pick up in interest over the sort of coming days if this is a game I think is going to certainly retain me um, but I, I imagine equally will sort of retain other people as well um, so, so a bit of a surprise from that point of view anyway um, let's not be too downhearted Let, let's just kind of keep going and, and, and kind of see what happens uh, so keep it here subscribe to the channel uh, I'll be doing some more videos around this um, and, and hopefully uh, we will we will see how it plays out into as we get into the first and second week anyway thanks for watching um, see you again soon